Okay, now this is how I add just, I call them my squashed on flowers. And I use just really scruffy frayed brushes that have served their purpose for detail work. And now they're like detailed flowers. This was actually a quarter inch angle brush that I used until I just wore it out. But this end had such a nice little feathery spray on it that I can actually take and double load it. I've got red and white on there and it creates some of the neatest little foliage effects by just just the way the paint is loaded on it and then dabbing the color on. So here I've went back and I've touched into a little bit of yellow and it almost gives it an orangey and yellow effect. And I like to use this brush for adding in some of the background flowers. Here I've got some orange and some yellow. And just adding in, and I do this real randomly, so there's no, from what I see, not right or wrong for how I do this or why, it's just putting in just bits and pieces of color, and then I just kind of build the flowers around, you know, whatever's there as I see them. So now I'm going to take, this was a number six flat at one time. And it's got a really nice open splay on it. And I like to use this brush to make what I kind of call my faux hydrangeas almost. You know, wildflower type things that you would see growing. And so, just a little bunch like that is all that area needed. So now, without cleaning the brush, but wiping the blue part off, I'm going to kind of do the same thing with some of this purple. And just dab it on to, you know, make my little wildflowery looking things. Then this brush I like to use for, I call it my little faux roses, those little wild climbing roses that we have lots of areas of the farm on some of the old fence lines. And so, and they will climb on anything and just grow like crazy. So I'm just going to do a few of those. And then I'm going to go back and add a little bit of dark green texture in there to break up some of the color. But now I want to actually add some sunflowers. So what I've done is I've loaded the end of the brush that I did these flowers with. And then I'm going to touch into just a little bit of the orange color. So it kind of gives me a two-toned effect. And then I want to place in some random sunflowery looking flowers. So once I've got the background or the base of the sunflower done, then I come back with that little round brush and just my little mixture of dark browns and just kind of dab in some centers that look like the centers of the sunflower. Then I can take some, just brush mix a little bit of color and do some little leaf. I don't do a whole lot of these, but just enough that it makes you think, you know, that the leaves of the sunflower plant are there. And using this brush, again, a little bit of dark green, but it loaded good. Then I'll come 
back in and add just a few little hit and miss sections of the dark color and that will add to the dimension that the that all the flowers are not just you know flat in one area so there and I'm going to let that dry see if there's anything else that needs touching up and sign it and it will be done so there's a finished 4 by 6 painting of how I do my little barn scenes